Sometimes we are happy to have a correct model formulation, but there are reasons why we'd like to write the model down in a particular way. Especially when solution methods are to be applied and make use of the model formulation, it is often true that a model needs to be in a specific form. We therefore discuss now a few technical tricks that help to transform a model into a desired form. Let's look at the objective first. In some cases, we may have formulated a minimization problem minimize some expression but for some reason a maximization problem would be preferred such a situation frequently occurs when we have a possibly complex solution method that is tailored to solve maximization problems Redesigning the method may not be possible, for instance because we like to use a software package and we cannot change the implementation. Or it may not be advisable because it's error prone. The insight that you need to know here is that minimize that expression equals minus 1 times maximize minus 1 times the, ins the expression. To convince yourself that this is valid, consider a small example. What is the minimum of, let's say, 2, 3 and 6? Well, it's Two, of course. Now let's check. What is the maximum of minus one times two, minus one times three, and minus one times six? The answer is minus two because minus 2 is greater than minus 3 and minus 6. In both cases, 2 is the element that defines the optimum. And this is true in general. If we replace minimize some expression with a maximize minus 1 times the expression and solve the maximization problem then, any solution that turns out to be optimal for the maximization problem is optimal for the minimization problem too. All we have to keep in mind is that the optimum objective function value of this maximization problem is minus 1 times the optimum objective function value of the minimization problem. This conversion can be done the other way around as well. So we can replace maximize some expression with minimize minus 1 times the expression. The optimum objective function value for the minimization problem is minus 1 times the optimum objective function value of the maximization problem. In summary, we now know a trick that allows us to transform any minimization model into a maximization model and vice versa without changing the set of optimum solutions. Next, let's look at the constraints. Any less than or equal constraint of the form left hand side expression is less than or equal the right hand side expression can be transformed into a greater than or equal to constraint by multiplying both sides with minus one. That means that our constraint is equivalent to 
minus 1 times the left hand side expression is greater than or equal to minus 1 times the right hand side expression. Use small examples if necessary to convince yourself that this is indeed true. For example, x is less than or equal to 5 is equivalent to minus x is greater than or equal to minus 5. Of course this trick works in both directions and left hand side expression is greater than or equal to a right hand side expression is equivalent to minus 1 times the left hand side expression is less than or equal to minus 1 times the right hand side expression. Such a transformation is useful for dualizing a linear program for instance which is a topic to be treated in a different video. Our next case deals with equations. Suppose that we have a constraint that looks like follows. Left hand side expression equals a right hand side expression. This equation is equivalent to the two inequalities. So this is equivalent to left hand side expression is less than or equal to the right hand side expression and the left hand side expression is greater than or equal to the right hand side expression. Again Small examples may help to get a feeling of what is going on if this is not obvious to you. For example, x equals 5 means the same as x is less than or equal to 5 and x is greater than or equal to 5. It should be noted that you can combine different transformations. For example, it should be easy for you to derive that x equals 5 is equivalent to x is less than or equal to 5 and minus x is less than or equal to minus 5. The final transformation of the constraints converts inequality into equality constraints. This is done by introducing so-called slack variables. A constraint of the form left hand side expression is less than or equal to a right hand side expression is equivalent to left hand side expression plus s equals a right hand side expression where s is a new decision variable, a so-called slack variable. It's important that the domain of the slack variable is defined to be 
s is greater than or equal to 0. Again, a small example may help to illustrate the situation. Assume that we transformed x is less than or equal to 5 into x plus s is equal to 5 and s is greater than or equal to 0. It should be clear that whatever value is chosen for x, such that x is less than or equal to 5, we will find a value s greater than or equal to 0, such that x plus s equals 5. On the other hand, if x plus s equals 5 with s greater than or equal to 0, we must have x less than or equal to 5. In a similar manner, we can treat constraints of the form left-hand side expression is greater than right-hand side expression. This can be converted into left-hand side expression minus s equals the right-hand side expression and s is greater than or equal to zero. Let's have a final look at the domains now. Assume that we have a decision variable x, which is a real number. That means that negative as well as non-negative values may be assigned to x. We can then substitute x with two new decision variables, say x plus and x minus, in the following way. The domains of the two new decision variables can be defined to be x plus is greater than or equal to 0 and x minus is greater than or equal to 0. Let's use small examples again to get this straight. Assume that x has the value plus 5. We could choose x plus equals 5 and x minus equals 0. That works. Assume now that x has the value minus 5. We could choose x plus equals 0 and x minus equals plus 5. That works too. The substitution of decision variables has been discussed in a previous video and is not new to us. The idea of this transformation is that, if necessary, we can transform any model into a form where all decision variables are non-negative.